Okay, let's talk about something that surprisingly many people struggle with, body dysmorphic disorder. Now, the Mayo Clinic describes it as an illness that causes a person to obsess about their looks and perceive flaws. A study published in the National Institutes of Health st states that body dysmorphia cases are on the rise, and there is a clear correlation between the increase in mm -hmm. the effects of social media. Mm -hmm. Ladies, have you ever found yourself being overly critical when it comes to your physical appearance, even when your loved ones tell you there's nothing wrong with how you look? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you, I'll let, you want to talk about your... No, I think, I think women in general, there's so much pressure put on us about what we look like. Yes. And we have social media that just piles it on times mm -hmm. 10. There's so mm -hmm. many things that we look at that are just unrealistic for some of us. How right. do you feel? Well, for me, it's, it's very close to home and it's something that I don't talk about often. So this is like the first time because I feel comfortable enough to talk with you ladies about it. But I suffer from body dysmorphia disorder. And I've been dealing with it since I was 13 years old. Wow. And so a lot of people don't know it's either hereditary or genetic or comes from a negative experience really? where your self image has been annihilated. And for me, when I was 13 years old, I wanted to be a model. You know, we're from New York. Mm -hmm. I was tall. I was 5'9". I was thin. And I went to this agency and walked in and that lady ripped me to shreds. I thought I was perfect, 5'9", less than 120 pounds. <laughs> Assuredly, they're gonna sign me. Mm -hmm. And she literally stood me in front of a mirror and said, you've got back folds, you've got fat over your knees, oh. you know, you need to do something with your chin, your breasts are sagging. And I went home that night and from that moment, every time I looked at myself in the mirror, I could find something wrong with myself. Oh. And I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to deal with it. I just knew, well, I've gotta get skinnier. Oh. I've got to make myself smaller. I want to be a model. And so I started abusing laxatives. I started not eating. I started throwing up. I started doing everything that I could think of to do to be as skinny as I could possibly be, oh. being obsessive yeah. about my weight loss. People don't realize that's why I got my mouth wired in 1993. Oh. To be skinny when I was already skinny. Right. And so now today at 50 years old, I've been diagnosed with type two diabetes. And so my weight fluctuates with that and you couple that with the disorder. Mm -hmm. And it's a hard thing to manage. Mm -hmm. And people don't understand what it is to be a person with this disorder, particularly dealing with the weight issues. Yes. Because they leave negative comments or what they feel are negative comments. But for me, my mind has such a warped sense of perception. It's a compliment. Tammy, you look too frail. Tammy, oh, you look like a bobblehead. I, Tammy, you I look skinny. That. In my mind, that goes, well, I'm on the right track. I'm oh, getting I skinny. That. And then I don't know when to stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're not, let me be clear. You're not hurt by the comments. You're more like, you're, you're, your brain's like, brain you think it. I'm a bobblehead? My legs are, you know, I look frail. You know, yeah. it's, it's so warped that what you guys feel I look like mm -hmm. or what you see is not what I see. What do you see? I like being skinny. If I could lose 10 more pounds, 20 more pounds oh. to me, it would be perfect. Yeah. Am I sick? No, I'm not in terms of my health yeah. sick. Am I mentally not okay? Yes, I've been diagnosed with body dysmorphic disorder. Okay. That is a mental disorder that is not curable. It takes a lot for me to get up every single day and go, Tammy, you look great. Tammy, you're pretty. Tammy, you're beautiful. Tammy, you don't need to lose any more weight. Tammy, you don't need to do anything. It takes a lot for me to do that. Are you getting some professional help, Tammy? I've, I was diagnosed in 2008. Mm -hmm. I had to go to therapy, and anybody that has this disorder has to go to behavioral therapy mm -hmm. because they have to unlearn things that they've yeah. been channeling within their mind and convincing themselves of however long they've been dealing with the disease, with the disorder. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for me, that's what I had to go through. I had to stop. I, this is a lot of my business. This is TMI. No, but it's no, so real. I, and I want you to know that whether or not a woman has been diagnosed, we 
all can relate to some level. We've all picked ourselves apart in some way, shape, or form. There are things that we hate about ourselves that other people may think are beautiful, mm -hmm. and vice versa. There's things that we're like, no, I like this, and somebody's like, that's not good for you, or what's happening here? So what, what can we do to empower people and other women who are going through something like this? First off, anybody that's dealing with this disorder, I would say you have to go to therapy. This is not something that you should try to tackle alone mm -hmm. because you really have to be willing to unlearn things that you've convinced yourself of. Mm -hmm. And that you need a specialist, a person that specializes in treating people with yeah. this disorder. Um, your family needs to be a support system. People on social media, like it, it's so prevalent now and people just feel like they could say anything they want to say. You don't know what a person is dealing with and technically it's body shaming on the other end of the yes. spectrum. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. When, you, when I put up a picture and you go, you're so skinny, I hope you're not sick, I'm praying for you. Don't pray for me for something you don't understand. Yes. Don't Oof. pray, I don't know what you you know, yes. the intent behind your prayers. Mm -hmm. Please don't, because you don't know what I'm dealing with. My family is my support system. My true friends are my support yeah. system. My physician is my support system. And it is a battle that I am trying desperately to learn how to manage. Yeah, you were Can gonna... I tell you something, though, Tammy? You are beautiful. You are. Thank you you. Are. Believe me, I've been on TV eight seasons, and I'm just the opposite. You know, you're constantly trying to lose weight. You're constantly trying to be healthy. People don't understand the personal things that you're going through. And when I saw you, my friend, I was worried. And, you know, we text each other all the time. And we say, sis, you good? And you always tell me you good. Yeah. Because and when I, I saw those pictures, I was like, something's happening to my friend. So I'm just glad that you're opening up about it. Because I'm just, I'm just so concerned, and I just want you to be okay. I'm okay. And this is the first time we really had a talk like this. I'm okay. Okay. I don't have cancer. I'm not dying. Yeah. There's no undiagnosed illness. Because some of those people <laughs> are like, concerned. Even being yeah, concerned. People, people being try able to make it all of that, and yeah. it's none of that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's even just being able to talk to about it and me. saying it, that's huge. Yeah. That's huge. Like. We could call the show real all day, but for somebody to come out and be like, I'm dealing with this right now, it's, it's big. I, I, I appreciate your transparency, because I think yes. even hearing you talk, there's things that I can look and think about myself that I go through, and I've never considered that, like, oh, maybe this is a problem. And to be it's honest, real. Tammy, it's like, I think people think about it as illness, because when we think about what happened with Chadwick, yeah. And how people made fun of him, yeah. and then Just you know being what I mean. Thin. So I think that there are na naturally people that naturally care about you, that you, that are your fans. Yeah. It's been your ride or die. So those, it's the other people we don't care about. It's just that there you, is... If you're doing it with male intent, please go right, somewhere. Right. If you're not, thank you for your concerns, but she's saying... She's, she's all right. She's okay. I'm yeah. okay. And stop okay. with the, you know, all that meanness. And because that's really what it is. It's people trying to leave comments, trying to be mean, not necessarily having to say what it is mm -hmm. that they're saying. The problem is those comments don't hurt me. Right. Because of what this disorder is, mm -hmm. you guys are actually pushing me more towards my own demise. You're wow. pushing, when you say, Tammy, you look skinny, Tammy, you look this, Tammy, you look that, I turn that into, I must be on the right, I'm on the right track. I'm actually skinny. I'm actually this, I'm actually that. Don't do that. You don't have to say stuff. You don't have to leave comments on people's physical appearance. You do not. It's a choice you're making to do that you don't have to do. Mm -hmm. Are you getting help, though, today? Am I with my physician? No. Am I trying to manage it as best I can on my own and with my family? Yes. I have to be honest, and, and maybe this is too much, but Hollywood doesn't help, right? Mm -hmm. the, the world we live in, mm -hmm. the industry that we're in, 
When I was bigger, everybody was like, she's too big. Yep. So then I became obsessed with losing weight. So this is the question. Are you OK? She I am OK. She's okay. That's all I need to know. Thank you for co-hosting. Thank you for coming back. Regard thank you. Because right. that's real. And it's exactly what you said. Even concern can hurt someone's feelings. Mm -hmm. And people should consider that.